Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking boats today. We've got an Alpha One Gen 1 Mercruiser Outdrive. We are doing a ton of work to it. However, in today's video, we're going to focus on the brand new sealed gimbal bearing design. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers, here we are at the Craftsman Workstation. We are always busy here at the workstation. Check that out, Mom and Dad's Jet Ski in-house for the winter for DIY repair videos. I'm excited about that. And hey, if you're into skateboards, down below in the comment section, as well as the description section, will be links on not only how to build skateboards, but how to mount them on the wall. And on the workstation right now, you can see a brand new Permalube sealed gimbal bearing. And just to the right is our original and very old gimbal bearing grease seal. Let's take a closer look. As we make our way around the jet ski, we've got all of our schematics. Again, serial number specific for our service manual. Really, that's the only way to go. And same thing for the jet ski when it comes time to do all our DIY repair videos on the jet ski as well. And here it is. Let's talk about the gimbal bearing first, as you can see. That's the backside. That's closest to the hull or the inboard engine. And this is the exterior portion that faces outward toward the outdrive. And there is our gimbal bearing grease seal. And there is the gimbal bearing grease seal part number. What I'll do is reposition the camera and talk more about this. At this point, with the camera repositioned, take a closer view of the gimbal bearing as you see here. Again, this side faces the outdrive, and that side faces the inboard engine or inner portion of the transom. And this dot right here, this is a dummy gimbal bearing. Basically, I use this just for videos. I'm not going to install this in the boat. There's already one installed in there. However, this was yellow when it was brand new. Unfortunately, it's faded over time as we film and use this in videos. And you want to take a good look at your service manual to ensure you're purchasing the proper compatible and replacement permalube or sealed gimbal bearing when it comes time to replace it with the old one. And this inner race right here, if we just kind of rotate the gimbal bearing, it will get to a break right here. And as you can see, there is no hole. And I can even move that inner race here. So as you move it, you can actually go the entire portion or all the way around the gimbal bearing and never see a hole. As you can see here. Because if there was a hole, well, that's the old gimbal bearing that allows grease inside this portion right here, this inner black portion. Again, no hole. And that tells us not only because it has no hole, but the brand new dot here. This is the permalube and newly designed sealed gimbal bearing. All the grease is already in here and it's properly lubricated and sealed. And you do not need to grease this over the life of the gimbal bearing. How cool is that? However, when it comes time to install this, you do want to make sure that this break in the inner race portion is properly aligned with the hole inside the bore or cavity where this goes into, where the grease is. And I say that because that's exactly what our serial number service manual states for us to do. In addition, when it comes time to press and install this gimbal bearing inside the bore or cavity, our service bulletin has an important note. You want to make sure that this dot is positioned exactly at the 10 o'clock position when this gimbal bearing, again, is pressed into the bore or cavity of your transom. Long story short, if you don't do that, your new gimbal bearing will not only not perform how it is designed to do, but it will experience premature failure, and you don't want that. So I'll set that aside. And here is the gimbal bearing grease seal. This actually goes on the inner portion closest to the inboard engine, and it basically sits right here. And the older style gimbal bearing, as you pump grease down the passageway and into the old gimbal bearing to properly grease the inner portion, some of the grease comes out, and this seal prevents the grease from sneaking past it and getting inside the hull of the boat. That would cause a serious mess. And in addition, if this seal fails and allows grease past it, well, what does that mean? That means grease is going to leave your gimbal bearing, which it's not supposed to do, and you do not want that. And it's going to sneak past this seal into the hull. Again, number one, making a mess, and number two, leading to premature failure on that gimbal bearing because it's losing grease. And on the inner portion here is rubber, and the yoke shaft feeding out of your upper unit will slide through the center portion of the gimbal bearing 
and through this hole right here and onto the inboard engine inside the coupler. And very important, in the event that you are transitioning from the original greasable gimbal bearing to the newly designed and permalube or sealed gimbal bearing, guess what DIYers, you don't need this seal. In fact, don't even remove it. Maybe just clean it up and then leave it as is because at that point, this gimbal bearing seal serves no purpose whatsoever because the gimbal bearing itself being sealed is not going to let any grease or lubrication out of it. In addition, you will never hook a grease gun up to that port on the starboard side of the transom and pump grease into the passageway to the gimbal bearing. So again, once you make that transition, this inner gimbal bearing seal serves no purpose. If you want to remove it, fine. However, the service bulletin, which we'll talk about here shortly, says just leave it. Really, you don't have to even install it. Just maybe clean it up and leave it. However, down below in the comment section as well as the description section will be additional helpful links covering more on the gimbal bearing. And for example, what we do is we put this gimbal bearing in the vise here and we put the install or alignment tool through the hole and we show you an in-depth view or look on how the gimbal bearing operates when the yoke shaft is inside it and the engine is running and you're out on the water, turning left, right, as well as trimming the outdrive up and down. So definitely check that out. And again, more videos down below in the comment section as well as description section on how to remove this seal in the event that that's the route you take and install a brand new one. And again, many more. And that's basically it. That's what I want to show you here at the workstation. From here, let's hit the computer because I want to introduce you to a service bulletin that was issued by Mercury and Mercruiser back in 2009 and relates directly to the brand new sealed and permanently lubricated or permalube gimbal bearing, as well as what to do with this seal and how to position the dot. And before we go to the computer, Keep in mind, if you got an Alpha 1 or an Alpha 1 Gen 2 or a Bravo or a Bravo 1, Bravo 2, Bravo 3, or any of the X models, you definitely want to reference your serial number service manual to ensure you're getting the proper replacement gimbal bearing. Because depending on which serial number and outdrive you have will depend on the color of the dot on your new gimbal bearing. However, DIYers, real quick, I cleaned the workbench up. Check this out. This is our cryptocurrency token. ToolboxToken.com. The token itself is called Toolbox. And the symbol, DIY, do it yourself. That's what we're all about here at our DIY channel. Definitely check that out. Again, ToolboxToken.com. DIYers, here it is the Mercury Mercruiser Service Bulletin. And this is Bulletin number 2009 13. The OEM number is 2009 08. And the service bulletin was sent out to all the service managers, the technicians, and part managers, as you can see with those black check marks in the boxes. However, let's scroll down. And again, this is the new Permalube gimbal bearing for Alpha and Bravo transoms. And below that, you can see all the models covered. And I'll scroll down to the situation. Mercruiser transom assemblies are now equipped with a sealed, permanently lubricated, which in short is Permalube, that's where it gets its unique nickname, gimbal bearing that does not require maintenance lubrication. Current production transoms use a permalube gimbal bearing and do not require the grease fitting on the gimbal housing or the grease retention seal in front of the gimbal bearing. In DIYers, we talk about that several times in our full bellows replacement videos, which also included us replacing that seal and gimbal bearing. In addition, the specified permalube gimbal bearing is the replacement gimbal bearing type for all transoms. Replacement permalube gimbal bearings come with a special plug, which was later renamed set screw, to replace the grease fitting. When replacing a lube style gimbal bearing with a permalube bearing, it is necessary to remove the grease fitting from the transom and install the special plug, which again, the plug is now renamed and titled as set screw. And below that, you can see where you can order parts and the previous part number and now the new part number. Below that is the correction, and all that is is a picture or image of the starboard side gimbal ring where the actual grease fitting is installed. And this is page one of four. There's a lot of additional info. As you can see right here, here's the perfect seal. You will use that to apply to this set screw right here on the thread to create an awesome watertight seal to alleviate any water from sneaking inside that grease passageway and making contact with the new permalube gimbal bearing. And here's the part number down below in the comment section as well as the description section will be links on where to purchase the perfect seal as well as the required tamper resistant or security bit as you see here. And you've got A and B. A, as you see right here, is the grease passage plug. And B, which is right here, is the T20 Torx tamper resistant recess. And again, another name for that torque bit is security bit. I'll continue scrolling down. 
and I'm going to come to this image here. As you can see, here is that yellow dot, and I've got A and B. Again, with our specific serial number outdrive, the newly designed Permalube gimbal bearing that is compatible for our specific outdrive and replaces the old style gimbal bearing is this one right here with the yellow dot. And DIYers, with that said, this is basically a brief description of the service bulletin itself. Scrolling above right now, as well as down below in the comments section, as well as description section, will be a link to a video that discusses more in depth or detail of this exact service bulletin. So if you have time and you're interested, we definitely recommend checking that out, as it may be helpful to you, because again, we cover additional information on the new Permalube gimbal bearing that we don't cover in this video, which include additional Bravo transoms and additional serial numbers. So definitely check that out. All right, DIYers outside the garage and to the back of the boat, here is our transom, the gimbal ring. And as we showed you a bit ago, our outdrive is fully removed. As you see, trim centers and all. Coming inside, there is where the gimbal bearing seats into that cavity. And you can kind of see some scrapes from the old gimbal bearing that was stuck to our shaft when we removed the outdrive. That was fun. Not really, but we got it off. And coming inside there, you see all that grease. And behind all that grease is your grease seal. And again, if you go traditional and stay with the greasable gimbal bearing, I recommend cleaning up all that grease and inspecting the grease seal to ensure that before you put everything back together, you've got a good, reliable grease seal. Now, in the event that you remove all that grease and you find that the grease seal is damaged in any way, well, it's time to replace that. And down below in the comment section as well as description section will be a link on how to replace that grease seal. However, DIYers, again, for us, we don't actually need to replace that grease seal because we are going to transition away from the standard greasable gimbal bearing into the sealed gimbal bearing, which again will literally no longer require grease to be inserted into that cavity. Coming inside here, you've got that little grease hole right there. As you see, that entire hole and tube that the grease goes through is currently filled with grease. In our case, we're just going to leave it as is. Come to the outer portion. Here is the grease hole chamber. And to the outside of the boat, there is the grease port right there. And because we are switching to the sealed gimbal bearing, when that time comes to install the new gimbal bearing inside the cavity after we replace that seal, again, we don't have to, but we're going to show you just in case you don't want to go the sealable route and stay traditional with the greasable gimbal bearing. For us, we have a set screw and we will remove that fitting and screw the set screw in, which basically allows this whole portion to be fully closed off and no longer greasable. So if you ever hooked up a grease gun to that new set screw designed for the sealed Gimbal bearing, well, you literally not be able to push any grease inside that hole and into the chamber or cavity that the gimbal bearing is. So I just wanted to show you that. Hopefully this helps. And DIYers, we've got a big project. We're doing a lot. Down below in the comment section as well as description section, we will have a bunch of links to videos that may be helpful for you. Definitely check them out and never hesitate to ask any questions for us. We do our best to get back to our viewers as quickly as we can. Again, hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And that's where it would go. And again, that yellow dot, 10 o'clock position.